how the agnipat scheme become controversial what is the pros and cons of this scheme so central government introduced a new scheme in indian defense sector called agnipat which spurred tensions all over india especially in northern india the northern states like bihar uttar pradesh uttarakhand because many of army recruits and army aspirants are from these areas and this created unrest all over india so the army aspirants inflicted heavy damage on the public properties especially in railways so first we can see about what is agnipat scheme and what the central government gave and replied to this scheme so the agnipat scheme under the agnipat scheme the soldiers for, uh, recruited for the indian army navy air force or coast guard they were called agnivirs so central government told that uh, for every year they want to recruit around 45000 to 50000 uh, people uh, the recruits the recruits were recruited for the uh, defense and uh, they want to mainly focus on the main eligibility for the agnivirs are Uh, the age is 17.5 years to 23 years so this was the basic qualification and after that only 4 year service is offered for the agnivirs the four uh, in 4 year service only 6 month service were given to them after 3.5 years they were inducted into the uh, service in a, either army navy or air force so there were many advantages and disadvantage in this scheme so the main advantage is it will uh, give more discipline to the indian youngsters and it is uh, it will develop more skills especially uh, the agni uh, veers were uh, promised with many allowances like the salary of the agni veers is for first uh, year they will give around uh, 4.76 lakhs and after uh, when they complete uh, in fourth year the salary will be 6.92 lakhs around 7 lakhs after completing four years Uh, they will give a bulk package called sevanadi which will focus around 11 or 12 lakhs so uh, the in 100% if uh, if uh, in one year around 50000 agnivirs were recruited only 25% agnivirs will continue for the permanent service another uh, other 75% personnel will be come out from the after 4 uh, years so what the government is saying is from the british a period colonial period there was a regiment under the indian army like a sikh regiment a rajputana regiment gorkha regiment in those regiment only people belonging to the certain caste and certain religion will be inducted but uh, the agni path will there will be irrespective of their regiment and even the women and men can apply there will be no fixed uh, reservation will be there both the women and men can apply so this uh, will Uh, fed the discrimination in the indian army they told like that it is a valid point and also the um, uh, government government is saying that under the normal recruitment process the defense personnel after their retirement the pension will be given which will comes under the revenue expenditure the army personnels army and defense force personnels uh, revenue and also the salary uh, will comes under the revenue expenditure but the procurement of weapons and i tech i technology will comes under the capital expenditure if the agnivirs are recruited under the indian army and indian navy indian air force so the sal- the revenue expenditure will be decreased like the uh, lowering of the pensions but uh, the government is saying from they want to turn focus from revenue expenditure to capital expenditure so the capital expenditure will be improved this was the clarification given by the indian government and apart from that uh, there were some of the advantages but there was many disadvantages in agnipat scheme that that's why the veterans are protesting against the scheme especially they are saying that it will affect the normal recruitment process now the normal recruitment process for them indian army is Uh, it will the eligibility is around 10th pass after the uh, selection process there will be around 3 to 4 years training but the agnivirs are trained only for 6 months and they complete the uh, the work within 4 years but the normal recruitment process will conducted and they will be given training for 4 years average 4 years so this was the main disadvantage in the scheme and another advantage the central government told that they want to lower the average age of the defense personnel now the defense personnel is average average age is 32 so they want to lower from 32 to 25 to 24 and what was the army uh, the veterans demanding that it will 
uh, fed the agni virs will uh, they are questioning on the operational efficiency and also the military capabilities because government is saying uh, to for they want to focus more on capital expenditure than revenue expenditure if they want to focus more on capital expenditure at the cost of the indian army's efficiency and also the indian army's legacy indian army ethics so this was a major security concern so the 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 retired army personnel raised the concerns uh, these concerns among them uh, in the government and also the main uh, issue is under indian air force and indian navy Uh, the, the training period was very long and they were equipped with high tech weapons but in 4 years how can they handle these high tech weapons and this is a very short period under the agni pat scheme so this was a major concern in the india security so there were more advantages and disadvantages and also in 17 years 17 or 18 years he if uh, more of the soldiers or more of the people are matured but how can they handle the tensions and they should have some sort of maturity the maturity will come with around 30 or 32 years so the, so they should have patience so these are the concerns raised by the army veterans so agnipat has both disadvantage and advantages so let's see what will be the clarifications given by the government but according to me there were some disadvantages and also uh, disadvantages and advantages uh, according to me what will be the main issue is in 4 years uh, the government told that they were involved in the combat and they were in also introduced in the war so in normal conventional recruitment the training period for the army soldiers is 4 years but within the 4 years they have completed the uh, the save uh, the work so how can it is possible it will uh, reduce the army efficiency and army it will against the army ethics so government want to focus more on that apart from this it is a good scheme for the uh, the indian uh, the youngsters so we can see about and what is the further development we can follow it thank you